here with a, an exhibit that's going to be coming soon here to Skulls Unlimited and the Museum of Osteology. Um, this is an older female giraffe. We can tell that from the, the toothwear patterns and the structure of this bony plate here on the skull. But, you know, one of the neat things that I always see about giraffes is that they have the same number of neck vertebrae as we do. Can you talk more about how those neck vertebrae allow them to, to move and function and, and do all the things that giraffes do? This little post on it is called the dens. And that allows this vertebra to slide down on it and to rotate. So this is one of the only vertebrae that can actually rotate fully. And then we have the occiput. So this condyle here fits into this little hole and allows for flexion and extension as well. So as this comes down, so if you'll go ahead and put that down in there and then tilt it back, you can see how it flexes and extends. So we have full flexion and extension into the spine here. We've got rotation into atlas here, and then we've got more extension here. So that's how they're able to drop their head down really tight and bring it up really tight.